Hi there, in this video I'm going to be going over the mono emulation configuration of Gridlock. It's something I've had a number of questions about. It can be a bit confusing, so I'm going to try and take you through, uh, take you through it here. So just dropped uh, an instance of Gridlock on. As you can see, this is 0.3.3, which is the next version coming out. So some things have changed here, but basically the zero comp for manual setup is the same. I've dropped the auto conf options now as there's not many apps that actually support auto conf and they can all be manually configured anyway. So so that's gone. Uh, so at the moment we're left with zero conf and manual configuration, but I am working on serial OSC as well at the moment. There is a, a zero conf version of serial OSC. So all your serial OSC apps should be uh, compatible with that and so you can use the zero conf version of that which i'll put the link up here to connect to serial osc apps in the in the meantime so i'm just going to select the launch pad and enter user 2 yeah, so i can see that works and pop into uh, monomo i'm going to bring up the config and just whack that somewhere here looks like in this build, I've done everything that's defaulting to on. There you go. Okay, so a question I get asked a lot as well is for 7up, a very popular application. So I'm just going to go through that. It also demonstrates zero conf. I'm going to track if I put that on. Put that on track two. So I'm just going to drop the core onto, onto track one here. Uh, you can see last time I saved the patch, one was already, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to two so we can see see that coming up here. So you can see this isn't connected. All I'm going to do is now hopefully switch this to zero conf and it should publish and all being well. Yeah, you can see that now it's seen that we've got the GL1 isn't connected, so GL2 is available uh, as a device. Before I go, this is something else that's in uh, 0.3.3, uh, but not in 0.3.2. There's this, this app actually supports the intensity mode. If it's not in intensity mode, then it does half velocity by rapidly flashing the buttons. And this can be a bit of an issue for the, the launch pad, which doesn't have a fantastic refresh rate anyway. Um, there's also another enhancement in 0.3.3 to help with kind of really heavy mono maps. But certainly with 7up, then switching to the intensity mode, which allows it to represent the two velocity levels with a single color means that it doesn't have to flash all the time. So the traffic is a lot less, uh, which is a good thing. So <clears throat> seven up uses uh, color 15. So that's what we default to 10 here for full and color eight for half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change that to red and I'm gonna send that config over. So that's set up, that's set up. So if we go now and you see I've got use multi led intensity uh, checked on here and I'm just gonna hit connect. So wait a few seconds while it does its stuff. Okay. Cool. So we have the indicator light here showing that we're receiving data on this on this channel if i switch that to to that then we can see that receiving the indicator there on that channel uh, so if i go to here then uh, we've not actually got any updates there and that's because i'm actually using instance two so bear with me a second so yeah so go up to mono instance two uh, we're going to switch this on to intensity mode. I'm going to take this to seven because I quite like that color scheme. Uh, I'm going to send that across. On, now that's uh, indicating on my launch pad. Uh, and you can see that we've got 
um, that here. So, uh, so I've just selected three buttons down the bottom and then the ones on top. And so you can see now that the half step uh, is indicated by red as I selected and the, the full step is by the orange. So you can change these and set them up as you wish, as you can see per uh, monome instance as well. What I'm going to do now is let me just pop that out of the way a second. Uh, let's get some drums. Okay, so burn kit, and let's get a MIDI effect, max MIDI effect, stepper, which could actually, I should have put that on there, and then we'll take the burn kit over, over there, um, so I'm going to start transport and um, so you can see that we've got the multi colors where you can see the track uh, actually playing down there rather than that kit I'm going to use the uh, the one that I think is yes yeah, so let me get rid of that and let me pull that on okay so yep okay so not sure whether my computer audio is actually recording or not. Okay, so. There you go, so that's, um, that's basic 7-up uh, set up. Um, Using uh, using the zero comp protocol. Okay, so uh, let's turn that down, turn that down a bit. So um, what I'm going to do now is another couple of faves. I'm going to create a couple of MIDI tracks um, and then just show some manual configurations as well. Uh, oboe certainly popular application and I think uh, bounds as well okay okay yeah so the important thing about manual I'm just going to show you the options actually we're going to go back to uh, this uh, for this and we're going to do oboe first um, the important thing when not using the auto config protocols are the two ports um, down here. Uh, basically, the ports are used uh, as two uh, unidirectional communication channels. So, one from the Monome app um, to Gridlock, and the other from Gridlock to the mono map. So these must be uh, set up and in sync for a bi-directional channel uh, to be created. So this one is convenient. The, the ports always default or seem to default to 8080 and 8000. Um, so you see we used 8081. Um, so we just provided the uh, the grid lock port on this one and the, uh, the zero config automatically sorted the uh, the uh, the port out for seven up, so we didn't have to worry about that. Um, and as you can see, if you select zero config, you can't actually set this port. Um, this time, we're going to set it up manually. So, luckily, the first channel I've got here defaults to eighty, eighty, and eight thousand. Um, <clears throat> so this should be this should work straight off the bat, basically. Uh, I'm just going to change 7 up to be 64 here because that's how it's uh, working as well. So I'm um, going to enable uh, the uh, oboe now and as you can see we're already receiving data there um, which is good and if we hit refresh here um, oops. Uh, so you can see so we've got a oboe um, that's coming in um, actually going to turn off autofocus because this uh, we, we're not going to be switching apps for an instance 
Um, you can also do this on this side as well is kind of this will will stop any other app even if you load up another app and it's automatically set to 8080 um, it's going to come in and uh, try to use the same port so it might override our obo settings so what I'm doing here is just saying that nothing else is gonna can can set the uh, the app name uh, on this so we've fixed that now to uh, obo um, obviously you can set this will all be saved with your set uh, so it'll be ready the next time you load up so if we switch to this instance now um, okay <clears throat> okay so the first thing we can notice here is that the grid's not actually updating as we'd expect that's because there's actually two uh, there's two manual options here uh, the manual which it defaults to is actually manual configuration but implements the serial OSC uh, protocol um, so that's for the newer apps uh, older apps such as this one or certainly this version of it uh, implement the mo old mono serial protocol so if we want to actually work with this then we need to um, change it as you can see we're getting the kind of update uh, showing the cursor showing the, the play position um, along the top now and we can switch our grids because we're in 256 mode here um, and we can uh, enter some notes okay um, so let's get uh, where are we we're here so let's go and actually that kit I had earlier drums Okay, so I'm just going to drop that uh, kit on there. <clears throat> okay, so I just went and uh, fixed the scale here, actually, because I wasn't getting any sound uh, out of that, and just pulled it down to eight steps. Uh, so you can see that going across my launch pad is firing quite happily, and we can see that um, down there as well. Um, so we should just be able to. Two apps running nice and smoothly. No? Okay, so just from the launch pad, uh, we can switch between the the two modes there, uh, so quite easily. So let's go and uh, set up the uh, the next one, which is bounds. <clears throat> so the next free slot we've got here is 8082 and 8002. So I'm just going to change this so that you can see that the ports uh, match up uh, with what we've got configured here. Um, this is, I'm going to be running this 8 but in 16, so I'm going to set this up to be 128 um, and switch to that instance. Um, again, so we're just going to go bang to configure that. And again, change this uh, to the uh, old protocol. Okay, so I'm pressing buttons. I can see that uh, in the out indicator is um, 
everything's working but nothing's happening now. What I find is, yeah, definitely with bounds, uh, sometimes it doesn't seem to initialize correctly. Um, so uh, starting and stopping the transport uh, will get it working. So now we can see uh, bounds running. I can just go across there. Okay, so that should be coming up on there as well. So again, we can change between our apps uh, quite easily. Now, so we have our three apps up and running. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that should cover, as I say, as far as the manual configuration goes, uh, if one of the manuals doesn't work, um, then just switch to the other one. There's no harm in doing that. Also, sometimes some of these ports will be reserved or in use by other apps uh, on your machine. Um, so something that the zero config partially gets around and serial OSC should completely get around. Um, if you just can't get anything to work at all, then just up these two. Okay, so we've stopped this update now because uh, we're no longer matched up. Um, so if those ports had been um, in use uh, prior, um, then we've just switched to a new set of ports now. Um, okay, so that's always uh, that's always a possibility. Uh, if you notice that the other option here is vSerial OSC, which is a temporary solution serial OSC uh, that I'm working on at the moment. So hopefully that will be ready in the near future and get across uh, a lot of these issues. Um, so those are the two protocols in use at the moment so hopefully that will make it clearer uh, to people how to get up and running uh, as usual any more questions if this hasn't made things a bit clearer then uh, get in touch with me at mplsigabort.co.uk okay thanks bye